how I stay clean. How I've been staying clean. Most of you know I got clean and this has been four and a half years clean off heroin. It's been a hell of a trip. It hasn't been easy. But most of you also don't know that I do a lot of research. I've studied a lot when it comes to philosophies, religion, mythology, you name it. And I remember coming across Joseph Campbell's works, The Hero with a Thousand Faces. And I look at these stories, that, if you look back on my channel and you guys hear some of the things I've told you guys that have helped me stay clean, I talk about the wise man. The wise man who was walking through the wilderness, pondering his past, his present, and his future. And the wise man, as he was walking, pondering on these things, a lion comes out from behind a cactus, begins to chase him, and he starts to run. And as he's running, he turns back and sees the lions getting closer. He keeps running, trying to run for his life because this lion's ready to devour him. And as he's running more, he looks back, the lion's getting closer and closer. Finally, the last second when he feels a lion right there on his back, he turns back and the lion right there at his foot and he falls over the side of a cliff. And as this man's falling over the side of the cliff, he's reaching, trying to grab something to hold on to. And finally grabs something and he holds on tight and he's hanging there off the side of the cliff while the lion's at the top going back and forth, waiting for him to try and climb back up so he could devour him. So he looks down to try and get down and there's a lion at the bottom of the cliff looking up, ready to devour him. And at that moment, he felt a sharp pain in his hands and he looks at this, what is a vine hanging out of the side of this cliff that has thorns. And these thorns have been piercing his hands from him holding on for dear life and blood's running down his arms. And on this vine, he realizes that there was a blackberry. And in that moment, he ate that blackberry and it was the best blackberry he ever had. And the moral of that story is the lion that chased him to begin with was his past. The lion at the bottom of the cliff was his future. The blackberry was right now. In recovery, we have a saying, one day at a time. Sometimes one minute at a time. One year at a time, whatever it may be, but usually we're focused in the day and the now, okay? We don't go too far into the future, the lion. We don't dwell too hard on the past, the lion. We eat the blackberry, the right now, because if you can make it through the blackberry, you'll survive another moment. And it might be painful. There might be thorns jabbing your hands, right? So these are stories I've told. I even talk about the one where I say, God went to make man. This is not written in any holy book. God goes to make man and Satan overhears his plans and says, he hears God whisper, man is going to be an ambitious creature, intelligent, motivated, determined, a mighty creature. And when he hears these attributes attributed to man by God, he thinks, ah, I've got to hide God from man. So the devil comes up with a scheme. I'll hide God beneath the mountains of the earth, beneath the dirt. Man will never find him there. And as he thinks long and hard and realizes God's attributing some interesting things to man, man will be brilliant, intelligent, will find a way to unearth the rocks of the mountains, remove the dirt and find God. I can't hide him there. Ah, I'll hide him under the sea, under the ocean, beneath the water. They'll never find God there. And he knows man's intelligent, brilliant, determined. He'll make an apparatus. He'll find a device to go beneath the water, sweep away the sands of the sea, discover God. Can't hide him there. Where can I hide God? The devil says that man will never find him. Aha. Uh -huh. I'll hide God inside of every person. They'll always be looking outward to try and find God and never look inside and realize that God was there the whole time. Now, whatever God is, whatever you believe that God is, whether you're a Christian, not a Christian, believer, not a believer, you can define this as recovery says, a God of your own understanding. 
That may just be simply energy. Whatever, right? That's how a lot of 12-step groups put it. You can be an atheist. <laughs> I'm telling you. And this thing would work. Now, what is the whole meaning of this? Man, for a very long time, has looked to the stars, has looked to the heavens, always looking up, admiring constellations, watching the sun, moon, and stars go through their cycles. And we found Paleolithic carving, you know, carvings on caves of art, of ancient mythologies that man have tried to understand. And we've told in countless stories, countless stories, the Greco-Roman mythologies, the Egyptian mythologies, the biblical mythologies, and so forth. In all of these teachings, there's been a struggle with man. Now, I don't know if you guys saw that movie Apocalypto. Mel Gibson actually narrated this. And in that movie, this Indian tribe had not gone through any troubles. And the son of the tribesman, he had never encountered fear. The day he finally sees this man whose eyes were giving away this notion of fear that he had never seen before. And that night at the campfire, the wise man who was missing an arm. There's always a wise man, you know, there's always somebody who's who's aware of something deep. And he talks about the owl and he talks about the animals, right? And then he gets to man and there's this emptiness, the owl saying in this man, there's emptiness, there's these things in man that can't be filled. And there's this fear. Finding complacency in oneself, finding who you are and being totally okay with it and comfortable can truly make you to a place where you don't want to return back to the vomit. I'm happy with who I am today. I go through stresses, but when I eat the blue, the blackberries, when I'm not focused on the lions of the past and of the future, when I look within and I find who I really am, I'm going to get a little crazy. When I find the I am that I am, when I look within myself and I say, you know what? It's okay. I'm human. I make it. I make mistakes. I'm just going to progress, become a better person the best I can. How can I do that? Well, here's a few little tips, suggestions. Be honest. First with yourself and others. Be willing and open-minded. Open-minded that maybe I don't have all the answers. Maybe there's something that I haven't figured out. Maybe I need to just consider that someone else who's made it might know something I don't and be willing to take those steps, be willing to take those suggestions and go from there. I read a lot of these ancient stories because it's history. Even if it is mythology, it's, it's mythological history because it's true 
from the subjective standpoint of the person who's watching these stories. You know, there's a story about Plato's cave, right? And it's about a man who's ignorant, who's in this cave. And there are other men who are looking at the shadows on the walls and watching these things happen. And they think those things are real. And then the one man gets set free. And when he gets set free, he looks behind and he realizes someone's playing puppet master in front of a flame that's causing the shadows. And he thought those shadows his whole life were real. Not realizing that there was someone behind him playing these puppet masters. So finally, he leaves this cave and the sunlight's brightening. It's blinding. He's never seen the light like this. He goes and runs back down into the cave in the darkness. Let's just say active addiction. And he's trying to tell these friends of his that he's known and he's been there where they're at. Listen, those shadows are not real. This is not real. You, 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 it's not where you want to be. It's not the place. The real truth's over here or there's a better life. There's light. There's this place outside. And they just thought, ah, get out of here quick. You're full of it. You're full of it. They don't believe him, even though he's seen that. That's kind of where I'm at today with it, is I have to try and become the addict, try and become what I once was for them to understand where I am now. You know, Christians call it being born again. Buddhists call it enlightenment. And other traditions have different understandings and beliefs about what these things are. I just call it being who you are, who you truly are. And I'm Derek Lambert. Who are you? I'd like to hear your comments down below. Tell me if you guys like this. I don't want to push anyone's buttons, but I think it's important because I think it touches a theme in all of us. Because if you want to use a modern conception of Plato's cave, let's look at Iron Man. You remember watching the first Iron Man and realizing that Robbie Downey Jr. gets captured by these Taliban or these terrorists, right? And they take him into a cave. Fascinating thing is, he escapes this cave. He escapes this dungeon, this death, this scenario of hopelessness. And he comes out conquering. But his trial is not over. The hero is not through. His story is not done. That's each one of us. Each one of us has a story. Each one of us is a hero. Are you in the cave still? Or are you outside trying to conquer? And that's life. Love you guys. Rewired addiction, changing the addict's mind. I'm trying to bring new things to this table. I'll be doing more lives with you guys. I apologize, I've been extremely busy lately, but I'll try and upload more often for you. And not everything I have is gonna be technical. Sometimes I'm just gonna wanna hang out with you guys and show you love, and just be there for you. Lives and just drop videos with little nuggets, little different things, different aspects to everything in my life because I'm glad to say I've made it. And I hope you do too. Hope you guys exit the cave. Join me. If you're struggling, reach out. I'm here for you. I've been where you are and I know how to get out. You just got to be honest, open-minded, and willing. Peace.